With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So today our question is, which of the following conditions imply that the real number x is rational? First condition is given as x to the power half is rational. The second one is given as x to the power half is given as x square and x to the power 5 are rational. The third condition is given as x square and x to the power 4 are rational. And we have four options given for the same. Okay. Now, the first condition that we are given is x to the power half is rational. Okay. Now, for x to the power half to be rational, x has to be a perfect square of some rational number okay so for example let's say that if x is equals to 4 then x to the power half will be equals to 2 okay then if x is equals to 16 by 9 then x to the power half will be equals to 4 by 3 these both are rational numbers okay now if x is equals to let's say root 3 which is an irrational root 3 which is an irrational number so x to the power half will be 3 to the power 1 by 4 which is irrational okay again if x is equals to 5 which is not a perfect square then x to the power half will be equals to root 5 which is irrational okay so therefore we can say that x to the power half is rational when x is a perfect square of some rational number okay so we can say that if x to the power half is rational then definitely x is also rational okay now Let's check the second condition, which is x square and x to the power 5 are rational. Now, let's check for x to the power 5. Now, if x is rational, only then x to the power 5 will be rational. Okay. So, if x is rational, then only x to the power 5 will be rational. For example, if x is equal to root 2, which is an irrational number, then x to the power 5 is equal to 2 to the power root 2 to the power 5 which is also n which is equal to 2 to the power 5 by 2 which is an irrational number okay so therefore for x to the power 5 to be rational then x should be a rational number okay now for x to the power 5 x has to be rational okay so since in the statement there is an end so therefore we can say that for x square and x to the power 5 to be rational, x has to be rational, okay. So, therefore, this condition also imply that x is rational, okay. Now, let's check the third condition. So, the third condition is given as x square and x to the power 4 are rational. Now, does it imply that x is also rational? No, because these are even powers, okay. Now, let's say if we take root 2 then root 2 to the power 2 is equals to 2 and root 2 to the power 4 is 4 now they are both rational numbers okay so but these are but this is an irrational number so which means that x square and x four are rational this does not imply that x is also rational so let's check the options so we have seen that only condition 1 and 2 imply that x is rational so therefore option number a is our correct option thank you everyone for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.